Hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by today. This is Color Creatively and I'm Sandy. I just wanted to go over some of the uh, completed pages that I did uh, in the month of December. As most of you know, I just started my channel in December and so therefore I probably didn't get very much done because I'm so busy with the technical aspect and learning how to use YouTube. But here we go, I did a few, especially over the weekends uh, from Christmas and New Year's here because um, I was stressed out and I'll show you what I did to de-stress. Anyway, this is the one that we had a color and chat for and we've got it all sparkly, all the stars and this is from Jennifer Stay at Coloring Bliss, Never Stop Looking Up. And so that's a good slogan for this year. Never Stop Looking Up. Okay, the other things that we did, that I did, was, I want to show you this. The Cats, I did a flip through on this book by Creative Haven, Cats Color by Number. And I did this one here. And I used Fila pencils, which probably didn't have the greatest color range for my cat um, and the goal is to match your pencils to the color chart here on the side so I used just the Fila pencils whatever I had I used and I did use just a colorless blender I didn't use any solvents to do blending as you can see um, my cat's a little orange, but that's okay. I'm going to go back and take some brown and sort of uh, doctoring up a little. But if you do these color by numbers, don't feel that you have to stick with what uh, they give you here. You can do your own colors. This isn't locking you into anything. In fact, I'll show you what I, how I changed something in just a moment. Okay, um... I'm going to move on here because I want to talk a little bit today about my goals for 2019. This book is the most wonderful book. It is Mosaic Color by Number Mandala and it's by Sun Life Drawing. And here's the color key on the back. And I it's a little smaller book as you can see than the other, the other book behind it. It's great for travel, but I started in the back. I thought I would do just one, and then I couldn't stop. And this is where I get the stress relief, because I don't have to think about shading. I don't have to think about what colors. I'm just going by the color by number uh, suggestions, and it was just so relaxing. Then I had to do a second one. If that wasn't enough, I did a third one. And then, and I did a combination of markers and pencils, um, mostly, mostly markers. And then I did this one next. And then I never have a whip, but today I have a whip. I always try to finish off everything. I just have this thing about finishing it before I move on, but I have a whip, so I will be finishing that. This book, this book I'll just quickly give you a little bit of a look through here. I'm not going to do a flip through on these. They're numbers that you can't read on the camera. and They're great mandalas. They're not that detailed, but yet they're not too plain either. And I am new to mandalas, and I have been nervous about doing them. I don't know why, but this book is getting me over that, and I'm just thrilled with it. The other thing that I did for stress relief was this book here, Christmas Mosaic. It's by Sun Life Drawing also, and uh, I first bought one copy, and then I messed up so many that I had to take it apart, I, and I took it apart. Um, I did this one with Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils, 
and a clear blender. So I think that came out good too. Then I did this one yesterday and I left it in the book. Actually, I'm not going to deconstruct this book or the other book. I'm going to leave them th that way because on the light colors you can see the numbers through, but on the darker colors you can't. Uh, so this is just sort of my workbook when I want to de-stress and it does leave you with a pretty picture when you fill it in and it's sort of neat because you can't, now that you could tell is an elephant, but uh, a lot of these uh, you can't really tell what they are until you start um, to color them in. But if you have stress, and you want to just color, and you don't want to have to think too hard, this book and the mandala, mosaic mandala, I would recommend. I will have to be buying another mandala book, because I have now decided that I think I'm going to like them. Uh, I didn't buy them before, because I thought I wouldn't like it. What I want to talk to you today about, too, is my goals, and I made some notes here, my goals for 2019. I should block it up like that. Uh, my number one goal is to build my channel, and I have started to do that, um, and I'm slowly growing. Uh, what I've done is I'm going to be teaming up this month, January first through the 31st in a color along with Shalene at the coloring book nook and I'm going to be co-hosting and she's been so kind to ask me to co-host so please visit her at the coloring book nook she ha she has some great uh, beautiful work that she does you'll be seeing me posting a lot of um, I'm going to be working on Micah Jelena, and you can get her drawings at, on her SD shop, and in my next video, when I actually do some coloring on that, I will uh, let you, uh, I'll put the link down below, I should say, of where you can go if you want to purchase the same drawing. It was like a dollar fifty. It wasn't very much, but it, she's got beautiful art. So we're going to be working, Shalene and I are going to be working on uh, Micah Jelena this whole month of January. I put number two, do more backgrounds. It's been a long time since I did backgrounds on my uh, coloring book pages, but that's always been the thing that bugs me. I might get the drawing all beautifully colored in, but then with this white background, it just leaves me like something more needs to be done. So um, I do have... Um, to do more backgrounds. And I will be bringing new techniques uh, to show you different ways that you can do backgrounds in your books too. And I put here number three, finish one book this year. That's going to be a big task because with the YouTube channel you're very busy, but um, maybe after I learn some technology I won't be so busy and I'll be able to accomplish that. If anything, I would like to complete this mosaic mandala, and I would like to do the Christmas book all year long till I get it finished, but I don't know. We'll see how the year goes. Four, more color in chats. So that's what I plan on bringing, is more color in chats to this channel. Five, I'm going to present more techniques. So it's going to take me a while. Like I said, I'm still new. This is really going to be my first full month, January. So um, this is where we're headed for the future. Okay, then six is get to know my subscribers better. I would like to get to know each and every one of you. And if you watch my videos and get anything out of them, please leave a comment below. I would appreciate that. I'd like to get to know you better. And in the future, as I grow larger... I would like to do live streaming, but right now um, I have other things to learn and do. And number seven, I need to budget my time wisely so that I have time to do the artwork and also 
everything involved in the channel. So that's what I have for you today. And I hope that uh, this coming year you'll look forward to it and we'll get together and be able to learn some new things and especially get ourselves into backgrounds and make things look pretty. I may even do a make your own stamps because I use my own homemade stamps many times for backgrounds. I love them. I like them better than bought stamps. Uh, sometimes I make a st um, stencil out of these paper punches. Um, just different things that I can find around the house. So anyway, I want to thank you for stopping by. If you get anything out of this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll find out when I upload again. Anyway, I want you to have a happy new year. This is New Year's Eve when I'm filming. I plan on publishing this tomorrow, New Year's Day. And thank you again, and happy coloring.